Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Eight: Connecting Ideas. Using auxiliary verbs after end. These are auxiliary verbs, and these are used in present simple, present continuous, present perfect, past simple, past perfect, and so on. Auxiliary verbs are often used after end to give the same idea of the main verb used before end. It has the same tense or modal as the main verb. Sentence A: I read newspaper every day. This sentence is in the present simple and in the affirmative form. The main verb is read. Sentence B: Ali reads newspaper every day. This sentence is also in the present simple and in the affirmative form. Both these sentences are the same regarding the ideas they express. In sentence A, the main verb is read, and the auxiliary verb is do. In sentence B, the main verb is reads, and according to the tense and the person, the auxiliary verb is does. To combine these two affirmative sentences, after and we use does to. Instead of reads, we do not write reads newspaper every day. Let's see the answer. I read newspaper every day. The first sentence as it is, and after that we put a comma and put and, and we write the second sentence with does to. We need not to write reads newspaper every day. There are other two examples. He will not come tomorrow. I will not come tomorrow. Both these two sentences are in the future form, but they are in the negative form. They are having the same ideas. In sentence A, the main verb is come, and the auxiliary verb is will. In sentence B, the main verb is come, and the auxiliary verb is will. To combine these two negative sentences, we use and. And after and we write will not either instead of come tomorrow. We need not to write this again. See the answer. He will not come tomorrow. We put a comma and write and. And after that we begin the second sentence and we do not write the whole sentence. We just write the subject and will not either.